What's up everyone and welcome to a special segment known as TFS Fast Fab, a quick fix, modification, or full length episode in under five minutes. Today we're working on some trim pieces for a classic restoration, so here we go. So here's our car, 1951 Ford shoebox convertible. I always call it the uh, Rockabilly Moonshiner. It's kind of why the uh, music's playing in the back like that, kind of appropriate. So the trim piece that we have to build is actually right here in this little section here. When the top of the windows are down, you can see this ugliness that has to get covered by something nice. So we'll take some uh, measurements here and uh, kind of wing it here. I'm gonna make it all out of uh, 16 gauge uh, aluminum. I'm gonna take some measurements here, translate those, mark it out. Get the square here, get a cut. Now we're gonna grab our snips here, we're gonna get strong and get it all cut to length. Now, big shout out to my Aussie viewers. I've been hearing that get strong is uh, quite the popular term down there. That's really awesome. So we're gonna bend it around that seam up top here. I'm gonna take the marker and make a break reference here. Now, these are flat bill pliers used in glass manufacturing actually, but they work out uh, quite well for uh, small stuff. So I'm try to fit it back under the upholstery there. It's a little bit too long, so I'm gonna grab the snips here, get strong one more time, and we'll get a cut and fit in there. Take and screw it down real quick so it stays in place. And we're gonna do some general shaping with the hammer here. Now light taps to get it to actually form and contour. We gotta make it look like it's kind of stamped out inside of there and of course fit underneath the trim and the, uh, and the window itself. Now it's gonna leave a little bit of uh, markings on the metal itself, but we'll get those out during metal finishing. Now to get this uh, correctly cut to shape, we're gonna trace out in the bottom, grab the snips and get strong once again. We'll clip these corners down. We're gonna take care of some general uh, shaping of uh, the edges here. Now we're just gonna use a file here fast forward through all this and knock all this stuff down. The idea is to make it straight so it was almost like cut out in a die, not necessarily by hand. And we put it down in here, I'll show you a little bit of a problem that we ran into. The screw style that we're using is not actually uh, uh, countersunk into the metal itself. So we're gonna use the center punch here. It has that bevel on there, a little bit primitive. Don't need a fancy tool. Stick it into a block of wood, smack it down, and that will actually dimple that section out so we can countersink it and it fits beautifully just the way that it should, as if it was stamped out. A lot better than it was before. So some general shaping, yet again, we're gonna take the hammer, we're gonna lightly tap down these edges and get it to sink. Now, you don't wanna beat the smash out of this, because if you do that, you're gonna find yourself with a lot more work to do. Now to make it kinda of look like it was stamped. Now, stamping leaves a nice, you know, thin spots, high spots, low spots. We're gonna try and get some curvature to it and just really shape it to make it look like it was, uh, you know, pressed out in a die. So the file very, very lightly. You want to try not to, don't hit the chrome, the upholstery, or the paint. You don't want to destroy that. So we get it all fit checked up again here. No significant sharp edges, nothing crazy. You got to make sure it's not going to tear somebody's elbow open or something like that if they hit it. And now we're going to take it out and get into the fun spot, which is metal finishing. Now, the golden rule of metal, you can always take metal away, but you can't necessarily always put it back on. So we're going to let the flap just do all the work, not your muscles. The idea is to get rid of those hammer and file marks and kind of give a nice clean contoured edge on it. Now to get rid of the flap disc marks, we're going to get the very fine wheel. And I'll show you how it leaves the finishes uh, really, really clean, very, very fine. Gets rid of all those marks for us. Now before we actually get to buffing it and shining it up, I'm going to hit these edges with some 320. And that's going to even them out, deburr it, and leave a little bit of a shine. Now to actually buff it up, we're going to hit the denim wheel with a little bit of rouge. Now the reason I chose the denim wheel is we have to make the aluminum actually match the chrome. And old chrome is not, you know, bright and reflective. It's actually kind of foggy. So the denim wheel is perfect for leaving that kind of finish on it. So it's, it's bright, but it's not necessarily reflective. So when you set it up next to the chrome itself, this is the finish you get out of it. And it looks just about dead on where it should. I'll screw all this back together. Final assembly. And before you know it, you have a custom built trim piece. Just like that. Now, if you're looking for other episodes in less than five minutes, go ahead and check out the hashtag TFSFastFab. Every single time one of those uploads, you'll find it as long as you can search it. I want to thank you guys for watching as always. Don't forget to subscribe to the Fabrication Series YouTube channel for more really awesome content. And I will see you guys on the next episode.